Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Wednesday, January the 9th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading. Attention. That is what everybody wants from you. They want your attention. If you look at your email inbox, you will see it's just filled in your social and your promotions box and maybe in your primary inbox, just filled with people trying to get your attention. It's a huge competition. I mean, YouTube, Facebook, all those advertisers, they're just bombarding you and they just want your attention. But that's something you have control of. You have control of who gets your attention. You have control over what you pay attention to. Now, what's I got to do with trading? Well, in a way, a whole lot. Because what you pay attention to may determine whether or not you're profitable in trading. You know, if you pay attention to a bunch of squiggly line indicators on the chart, below the chart, off to the side of the chart, you know, you might not be successful because you're not focusing on price itself. You're focusing on things that are derived from price. You know, if you pay attention to the news, if you pay attention to what somebody else is doing on a trading forum or on YouTube or on Skype or on Twitter, I mean, somebody was asking me, you know, I should, why don't I do Twitter? And it's just like, I don't need to do all that. I don't. Because, see, I'm not really vying for your attention. I just share information and, you know, I share indicators. And some people, you know, will send me donations and I share other indicators. But that's, that's it. I'm not vying for your attention. But, I mean, there are some people in the trading community every day you get something from them. Others, it's every other day or so. Others, maybe it's weekly. Others, maybe it's monthly. Not vying, but they're, but they're all vying for your attention. Now, you might say, well, aren't I vying for your attention? No, not really. Um, you know? There are, I guess I'm an acquired taste. There are those people who stumble across me or find me and my message resonates with them. But you don't see me doing those mass market, A Weber or whatever those things are that come out. And then there's, a, there's like two or three of them. Well, you can see them right there in the email address. You know, that it was one of those automated things. No, if you get something from me, it's from me. It's not from, I don't have the computer set up to, to do all that. that. Because that's business and I'm, that, I'm not in that business. So, once again, bringing this back to trading, what is it that you're paying attention to on your chart? And one of the things you know you have to pay attention to is money and risk management. I know you guys knew that was coming. It was such an easy segue, right? But once again, this is something that is just so simple. You figure out your risk. You then determine your position size or your stop loss. And that's all you have to do. And of course, you know, there's programs out there or indicators out there that will help you do it. I've done it before. There's other people that do it. But it's, it's really simple. It really is. So just remember to pay attention to your money and risk management. So here we go. We've got the Euro Yen. And you can see it's approaching the yearly open again. We've had a nice little uh, run this hour, a low of uh, 51 there, and it's now at 94. I don't know if anybody took advantage this hour, but there was a nice, nice movement. And we look at the weekly, we still have two gaps that haven't filled. 
and once again on the weekly chart out of that lower wick zone. And now you can see right here, here's the first day of the week. So there's a Monday, there's the range. Okay, and you see here we tested the range yesterday and here, or the upper, um, the high for that first day. And so you can see here, we cracked through it a few times here. Each one of those trades would have been profitable. And so once again, that's something that's very simple. Just that opening using the first day of the week as the opening range for the week. It's like we're using the first day of the year opening range for the year, even though that first day candle is pretty, pretty huge, but we're still going to use it. Um, and you can see here from the open of the year, the movement of some of the, of all of the pairs listed. But well, once again, something very simple. All we're doing is paying attention to just a couple of, uh, couple of levels. Now, next month, February, we will have the opening range of the year, the opening range for February, and then the opening range for, the, for each week based on that first day of the year, month, and week. And once again, we're getting near that open. These are all the opens for the past 12 months. And here are the high and lows for the past 12 months. Now, once again, we're looking at um, the first day. So we're looking at the ranges here. And you can see whether or not price is above or below these ranges. And you can see here, or these levels, I should say. And the reason they're not shaded is you could see it would just be one it would just be one shaded chart so we don't shade those now once again we were looking at the inside bars to see if these simple trades these simple levels can pay off using the daily weekly and monthly inside bars and obviously they have based on the number of red and green you can see here so we've got an inside bar happening on the franc from yesterday so we took that trade you can see the profit there uh, we've got the euro australian dollar you can see there's an opportunity on that inside bar the Australian US dollar you see there was a nice trade there and the Australian franc once again there was opportunity to take profit so simple things that you can pay attention to that can be profitable now you can if you want to you can trade them all or you can just trade uh, out one of the methods or just a couple of them or you can see if there's any overlap or um, confluence between the different ones so you can have more confident in those trade more confidence in those trades and just remember that success breeds confidence and then confidence will breed success now euro yen sluggish <laughs> dollar yen beating it again but we only have six pairs over a hundred range from current daily high to current daily low and we can use the uh, highest open lowest open for the week month day year again we're looking at days on the month the daily open on the month we've got the year on the um weekly we look at the or the yearly we look at the highest open on the hour weekly here 
highest open on the hour. You can see we just put in that new high, touched it, and went the other way. Buy zone. You see we had the pivot was in the zone, so not much of a bias. So that means you just trade when, when there's not much of a pivot point bias, then you can trade either direction when it hits the, either the buy zone or the short zone. And you can see here we triggered on the very first hour. And if you stuck with the trade, there was nice profit to be had. And you see here, pro traders had a second opportunity to get in and they were rewarded. Remember, I talked about this last year. I haven't really mentioned it this year, but these big bars, big bars, it seems like price just likes to return to the open. So you see, this was a relative, a small bar, but price still returned to the open. But on this big bar here, price returned to the open. And on this big bar right here, price returned to the open. So you might want to look at those. Um, I think I did a video on returns. And I'll, I'll probably do one sometime soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oldie but goodie, rat zone. Larry live trade short trigger right here last time to get on the bus. But you can see here how it paid off here and then here. Simple trades. Pay attention to the rat zone. It can be profitable. We saw how the pivot was taken out. Now, somebody suggested, and I want to know what others think, that maybe one day a week I just spend a whole video talking about one particular trading method and maybe get into it a little bit more. But um, I just, you know, I hesitate to do that because I've explained the statistics behind the methods, you know, maybe ad nauseum for some people. But they're just simple horizontal, horizontal line crosses. There's nothing esoteric about it. Um, there's, this isn't rocket science. This is just simple taking the trades. You know, say, for example, with the uh, pivot point, we know that based on statistics, there aren't very many missed pivots. So we trade toward the pivot from the opening price. Uh, price action. Uh, let's see. We had a, uh, a three ball here. It reversed, and so usually if it's a three ball, you can you can take that trade going the other way at the line here. Once the candle turned red, and here we had a two ball green at the line, took it the other way, and that's how that's traded. It's once again, it's not rocket science. Wick zones, we know what price does at wick zones. So once again, you could just pay attention to the wick zones and price will usually move in and out of those wick zones. So you take the trade on the breakout, not the entry, but the breakout. And these are, you know, I'm thinking I might not have to show this screen anymore because it, these are the same lines on a couple of the others, but I, I still just like, for my own personal use, I like this chart. And ticks, you see here, we haven't really moved much. Einstein line gave us a breakout here a couple of times. Once again, the Einstein, you, you, you're just going for a few, few pips at the moment. And every now and then you get lucky and you get a whole bucket load of pips. So, for example, if you took this short here, you made a bucket load. So that's it, fellow traders. Pay attention, and I want you to pay attention to what you're paying attention to. I want you to be aware of when somebody's trying to get your attention, whether or not you should give it to them, because that is something that you are in control of, just like your risk and just like your stop loss. So just remember, pay attention, because it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks.